Good morning. What a beautiful day. I mean, absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be 75 today. It's about 70 right now. It's perfect. I got a couple of things I want to do today. One, I want to make a better, cooler, something I like better, a bird feeding station. And I want to make some bee, bee traps, more bee traps. Can't get enough of them. They work great. These old dead standing uh, cedars, they get really crisp and strong and they take to the weather pretty good. They last a while. I, uh, I'm i gonna turn that thing into my bird feeding station and I cut off a piece of it because it was a little too long and that is exactly what I'm gonna use for the bee traps. These old metal hangers work good, but I don't know, they just kind of seem like they belong in the city. So I need a country bird feeding station. This old mailbox is from Church in the Woods. That's a church that Jan and I had for five years from 17 through 21. That church is no longer existing and the property sold. So I uh, kept the mailbox with good memories. I thought I could do something with it. I also kept the sign that was out by the road, kind of letting people know where it was. Well, let's get started. Hey, uh, what do you think about right here? No, back a little bit and over. Right uh, yeah, over, over just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. Like it? Yep. Ooh. Rock. Let's figure out how we want this thing. How about... What do you think? No, around. Turn it around. What do you think? Uh, just a little bit more. There, there, there. You like that? Yep. That looks good? I think so. You like it there? That's where it's going. I do. <clears throat> I can't believe that bluebirds got babies already. I know. I mean, that's it's kind of early. Yeah, it's spring, that's middle, for sure. Middle of April. Yep. I think these can go right. Yeah. That little coping saw works perfect for that. Mm -hmm. Better than this one. Mm -hmm. What about this guy? Get rid of him? Or should we leave him? Leave a little bit of it. You're gonna cut that big long, big long one. Him yeah, up. shorten it. Right. Yep. I hear the birds talking to you and saying, "Hurry up, get my feeders back up." Ready. Don't you? Yeah. No, it looks good, but uh, uh, trim that one up a little bit. How far back, maybe right here? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Now if the birds would just come and take part, we'd be good to go. For the bee traps, I just measured uh, four inches, made a line, and cut them off with my skill saw, and then 
turned them into bee traps. I found this cedar works really good and it holds up to the weather really good. And the bees like it. Carpenter bees are a real problem around here. And these bee traps are the solution. I counted the rings. This thing's older than I am. Seven eighths to the end of the paddle, two inches. Half inch, one straight across. One angle and down. And one angle and up. These should last a long time. This cedar does good with the weather. So then I'll just take my jars, which are coming, and Screw the top to that, put the jar on there, put a hook in the top, done. So I'm gonna make about a dozen of them. So here's what they look like. And let me show you how I do it. Jan picked me up some nice pint jars. Line that up, and then I take any little screw will work, but these are what I have handy. Right through the metal? Yep, these are little self-tapping <clears throat> screws. Two is generally enough. Try to guess where I think it's going to be the balancing point so that it'll stand stuck straight instead of crooked. Mm -hmm. well, it ain't the end of the world if it's crooked, they'll still go in it. Ernest had one that was upside down. It had the jar on the side like that. And that's the way he, he got it from somewhere. I thought, well, wow, it seems like they could get out of that. But it was half full, so I guess it was working. <laughs> Well, I guess there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Twist that thing in, grab the pliers, and bend it into a loop. Done. There you go, your basic bee trap, ready to go. Usually I put three holes, and I try and do one down, 
one straight and one up so they can have choice. I think it doesn't matter because I've done them always and they all get filled up. How many you got? Two, three? This one's got three. Sometimes oh, okay. I just do two, but sometimes I do three. There you go. There you go. If you're gonna make them, might as well make a mess of them at a time. So, do you like it? Have you seen the birds hitting on it yet? Yep. All right. Yeah. Have you noticed the bluebirds in that box back there? Yeah. That's cool, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, woo! <laughs> Cute. I like it. This little camper has flowers in the windows. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good deal for four bucks at a garage sale, wasn't it? Yeah. Home is where you roam. Yeah, that's cool. This feeder came from Ernest and Becky. I hope the birds like it. We knew it wouldn't take long. Looked like a good spot for one of the new bee traps. <laughs> It'll work. There's a little chickadee's been building a nest in that guitar birdhouse that came from Crystal. Here's one, one of the new bee traps, a good spot for it. Ah, the creature from Brasstown Creek. He's still around. <laughs> Those are my favorite flowers. When they bloom, they're orange. My friend Barry calls them Indian paintbrush. And Mary Kay calls them chiggerweed. There's another one. They came up. I, she gave them to me. I planted them last year. I love it. Good morning, everybody. Almost noon, actually, but I just wanted to say hey and show you some things we're doing up here. We got some gravel poured in our driveway a couple weeks ago. It was just getting a little bit too muddy, and so we've been wanting to do it, so we finally did it. But it's beautiful out today. Little bit windy. Not too bad. So I'm just gonna walk around the yard and look at the things that we enjoy. Got some rain last night. We got this little, I guess it's an underground spring that goes down and then it goes straight into the um, creek here. We have some bluebirds nesting in this little birdhouse. We've been watching them all weekend going in and out. There's a maple tree that we planted. Doing pretty good. It's so pretty out here and we're thankful that God blessed us with it. Looks like Kevin's been up to his his ideas again. So, story of this mailbox is it's off of a piece of property that we have in Brazelton, and we're selling it. So we are just taking the mailbox, and Kevin decided to turn it into a birdhouse. That's a cool idea. It's so nice walking around in the morning when it's quiet and peaceful. You can just have some quiet time with yourself. And here he goes again with his yard art. <laughs> That's Church in the Woods. Kevin and I started this little church in the woods from 2017 to 2021. We believed that God wanted us just to start a little church with family and friends. And um, we just sang and worshiped him. 
We started in the woods with some picnic tables and then we built a uh, building. It was fun. It was real good times. So the river dumped a bunch of sand right here and so we planted potatoes because we heard that uh, they grow good in sand. I hope we get a good harvest. Here's that little, ch the little uh, chair Kevin found in the creek. I think it looks cute. More yard art. This river really widened up. When we first got it, it was about half as wide at this spot. And it's crazy what the big rains will do. Never realized until we got this piece of property that what water can be mighty powerful. Thanks for walking with me this morning. We're really enjoying the YouTube channel that we've started. And we just hit over 500 subscribers. Thank you. And I hope you keep watching so we can keep making videos. Until next time, have a great weekend.